Hey, what's up, guys? This is Will Will Kill I here with a Let's Play for Pixmon because my servers are working, but they aren't functioning right. They're going up, but people, whenever you try joining, it doesn't work right. So I chose Turtwig as my first Pokemon because I've not really had a grass type before. Uh, it increased happiness when you let run around like that. Uh, it's happiness is 71 right now, and it's a huge, and it's lonely, so I think I should catch some Pokemon. Uh, I will show you my inventory. So far, what I've done is I gave myself these, uh, axe and pickaxe. Don't know if they're good or not. 16 steak and 6 Pokeballs. And I am in my Christmas outfit, actually. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Later on, I, I want to show you my Santa hat, but it's not showing right. Okay, but either way, um, the reason why I haven't been uploading was because I've been having trouble with my servers, but uh, I think I'm going to start uploading little game videos here and there because I was playing Draw That, um, the I think it was a day ago, and it was really fun. I had a great time playing it, and I really want to play again, and I kind of want to play with some friends, so... Uh, to me, the draw that game on Skydiz Minecraft server is the way to go. It is fun. Uh, before we even start anything, I just remembered I gotta set my controls right. I set the R to Q and the next Pokemon to down and the previous Pokemon to up. That way I get more of a familiar, familiar way to press the buttons and that works better. So what I'm thinking of doing is, there's, I spawned right up here on the mountain in the jungle. Uh, well, I've not been recording. I've actually, while well, I wasn't trying to fix my servers, I was actually playing that new Pokemon game. I think you all know it, X and Y. That game is something I'd recommend to anyone. It is a fun, fun game. No jokes. Um, it was a blast play uh, I finished the game so far all I've been doing is ooh a diglet nah um, all I've been doing to it lately is um, trading Pokemon over the GTA right now I have I think a Bulbasaur and I'm trying to get a um, a horsey for it but it is uh, very hard because I put the Cedra and I start out with a Kindra because I can't remember uh, how to evolve a Cedra. Uh, I don't know if it's from trade or not, but I have no idea. So I thought, oh, people love starter Pokemon. Why not trade a Bulbasaur? Uh, then uh, this one girl that I added named Victoria. Add her to my friends list because that's another thing you could do with the 2DS or 3DS. They now have a friends list. So now you could make it where you could add people. And just want to make sure my sound's low. Uh, I don't have my headphones all the way on because I, I really just didn't feel like it. Just remembered. Food is going to be a crucial thing when playing this. And honestly, I thought these things, I've been told the Almedium, or whatever it's called, was supposed to be like gold. It breaks easily. That's one reason why I gave myself stuff like this. But, in all honesty, honesty, uh, so far, honestly, I want to say it's better. It's better than gold or butter because... It hasn't broke. It's not really that much durability for everything I've broke. I've been breaking. So honestly, I think there it's probably better than butter. And for whoever saw my last video, is that a temple? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um. So basically, uh. I have this set on Oddish. No, I don't feel like capturing you. I don't feel like anything involving you. 
So, oh, lag there. Apparently, um, I don't know if, like, it's just my computer not having enough room for everything. Or it's because the world's loading. I have no idea, but I just got major lag. Yeah, open it. Nope. Oh god. Oh. Don't know if it seems like lag before. Nope. Uh. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Man, that that was probably loud. Oh. Wait, it was that. That. Now move that and down, down. There we go. Oh, we scored. Uh, the only bad part, the iron, the gold, and the saddle, we can't use them. Probably use the redstone later on. Oh no, if I break the chest, it take that with it. But we can take the levers and everything like that. Put all this in my inventory. Except the stake, I'm going to need that. Now, let's see. Looks like it's on this side. Oh! I don't want to get shot on the way out. Oh. Ooh, more iron. Oh, wait, no, I didn't have iron. Ooh. It's good anyways. Arrows. I don't want to want this stuff. No, I can't. Okay, take this. How is it connected? Oh, it's probably connected over. Hmm. I can figure something out with this. Make a fishing pole or bow and arrow. Ooh, got some seeds already too. So far this uh, has seemed to be going good. So, oh, I feel like while playing this, one way I could probably relate to all those people who love Pokemon and Pixmon. Uh, just like me. Um, one way I could relate to you guys right now is talking about the shiny uh, epidemic in Pokemon. Like, I'm wondering, are they going to bring that kind of stuff to Pixelmon? Find shinies here and there. Like, as easy. Oh, I also learned some new evolutions, actually. Um... So now I know what to look for when uh, playing Pixmon. Because they brought some of the old evolutions to Pokemon. And I felt that that was a pretty neat little thing they did. Whoa. This guy's so small. I want to see if I can catch him. Did it catch? Oh my god, did it catch? Oh my god, it caught! Oh, awesome! I already got my first high level Pokemon. Come on, buddy. You too, Turtwig. Let's go. Okay, so, um. 
first thing I should probably do would be find an area to set up a house. Either that or catch Ponyta. Because something that I figured out was if you're going to go far distances, you need a Pokemon to take you that much so you don't use all your energy. Oh god, I'm getting lag. Woo. It's hard with the lag. That that was only the server. Yeah, okay. I'm going to see if I don't know if you can still get fishing poles from these guys. I don't know which one is supposed to give you the fishing pole. Obviously wasn't him. There's these guys with fishing poles. I, I can't remember if is that Krabby? I want a Krabby, but let's see if I can kill this guy. Well, this is a big ravine ish sort of place. No fishing pole. Oh my god. Um, okay, I want to explore that in a second. But first, I want to see this crabby here. Level 20 crabby. I really want to check out you. Know. Come on, do I have that good of luck where I'll catch crabby as well? Come on, come on. I would really love this Krabby. Oh, I caught Krabby. Yes. I remember when I was little, I think I told you guys already. Krabby was one of the first ever Pokemon I had. He eventually evolved into Kingler. Man, I've seen the Kinglers in Pixmon. They aren't really iron out. Aren't really my favorite design, but they're they're decent designs for Kingler. Like they're making more round designs. Like I've looked uh, before I even decided. You know what? I feel bad not posting videos for such a long time. I'll look up some see if there's an update. Wait, is this? That's weird. Uh, on one of the servers that, like the maps I made, the bio the bioxite or whatever was white, and it really surprised me when I saw. It. I thought it was a new ore, but apparently I think that that was just uh messed up with my texturing because it's not white right now. Huh. Or maybe that's what happens when it's in the dark. Because it was pretty dark where I was looking at it. So, I'm not exactly sure. This is good. Bioxide is fast. Maybe um, when I read about uh, it being like gold, maybe they were talking it's as fast as... Um, as digging as gold, but maybe its durability is stronger. Maybe that's what they meant by it. I think I should make bio um, biox uh, a midian or whatever. I should make some of that kind of armor, or I mean not armor, uh, tools. So, let's see, the thing is, today, right now, is the day before Thanksgiving where I'm at, and this is me giving, basically, <laughs> no, this was because today, uh, I had some stuff to do, but when I got all that done, I was like, what to do, what to do, um, I was playing Pokemon for a while. And that reminded me, I haven't played Pixmon with the guys or anyone lately, and I missed it. So I decided to get my computer out, start it up, uh, check out Pixmon quick, the net, the site about it. 
and then I decided to jump on. And when I was playing, I was like, all these worlds that I made, all these let's plays I've said I'm going to do, what happened? And I remember the comments I've gotten, uh, videos suck and stuff. I've gotten comments, I've gotten messages. In the Bodell 40 video, uh, I said that I've gotten messages. Yes, I've had messages that my videos suck. Uh, yes, I do it with more than just me. But the problem with that was, one, my server doesn't work right. So, when trying to play with others, it kind of screws itself up a lot. So... That was that problem, but the biggest problem is even though it's been about a year, maybe two, since I've played, started YouTube basically, my videos haven't caught up with anybody. No one seems to really uh, like them, but honestly, my videos aren't for everyone. Therefore, anyone who's enjoying them. And anyone who enjoys my videos, I'm happy for you that you're enjoying them. And the ones that say my videos suck, well, basically, the videos wouldn't be for you. Therefore, anyone who likes the Minecraft videos. Anyone who enjoys watching those people, that's who I make the videos for. Wow, so you can't mine iron with gold. Or can you? Let's see. Nope. I hear a magic card. Okay, so you can mine everything except iron and bioxide with gold. And this. I love, I miss, honestly, I miss this. The, um, the caves, the ravines, the stuff that Pixmon brings. <laughs> uh, that wasn't supposed to come out like that, but it, it did. Oh well. You know what they say, just let it happen. Don't fight it. So, um, let's see. Back to the whole Pokemon Shinies thing. What I've been doing on Pokemon is, like, I wanted to... I saw those videos of people playing them, and I was like, Man, it would be sweet if I knew how they recorded that and stuff. Because when I was playing Pokemon, it seemed so much fun. And I wish I could have showed everyone what I was doing. Because I found things that when I was watching other people's Let's Plays of it, that they didn't go by, and I was like, hmm, people are probably going to wonder what this stuff is after the game or during the game. There was a bunch of things. Well, I did in the game. Um, I didn't really follow a Let's Play when I played it. I more watched it when I was done because I don't really like spoilers. But some people do, and it really helps them in the game. I understand that. Uh, some things that I didn't get at first, and after watching the Let's Plays, I went back to do. So I understand that a lot of people don't like spoilers, other people use them for help. I understand that. One thing I haven't finished actually would be the, um, what is the name? Lock it? Or look it? Looker, I think it was. That's who he was. Um, his missions, I'm only, oh god. That scared me, actually. Um, how do I get back up? Maybe this way? That takes me deeper. Alright, here. Um, looker. Um, basically, uh, I was working on his missions the other day, and I noticed that a lot of people actually finished them right when they see them, I didn't go by that. I went by after the game was over and I decided I wanted to do them. 
because I do want to completely finish the game. I want to do all the little bits and then I'm going to restart. And to those who say, why do you restart the game? The question really, uh, it's mostly because you restart the game because you're done and you feel you didn't get much of a challenge like you thought you would. So you redo it. And this time uh, you could use a different starter and it might make it a little bit more difficult. Like um, using the grass starter, it really makes it more difficult. Um, whenever I was playing, I didn't use the online stuff. Uh, later on in the game, I finally figured out, oh, I could trade Pokemon online. And I mostly didn't know that because uh, any Pokemon I played when I was little never had the online function. And honestly, I think I wish I had that... I. Um, that thing when I was little because uh, the Game Boy uh, it was hard getting some of the Pokemon but uh, you eventually finished it and restarted but uh, it's more of the DS that uh, you could really use the whole re uh, restart after you go online and collect all the Pokemon there's always um, some little mission uh, after you finish completing the Pokedex, there's always something right after it. No one really gets that. Uh, a lot of people will not restart because the Pokedex, like me, I want to complete the Pokedex, then I'm planning on restarting. And I'm only at 500 Pokemon, I think. I have um, 100 to 150 Pokemon left to catch. And complete the Pokedex. And there's supposed to be some big thing after it. I heard online. Uh, no one's posted videos telling about it. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's true. But I, whenever I played a Pokemon game. I never ended it till I completed the Pokedex. That's just something I do. And now it seems that uh, my way of never uh, finishing till you complete the Pokedex might actually be a new quest and I'm actually enjoying it because along the way I would literally just throw a Pokeball at the Pokemon just to get it in the data but um, thinking back on it most of the time it wasn't the best idea I I remember um, a couple of times I literally uh, did that and a shiny Pokemon popped out and I can never catch them because no Pokeballs. So it did suck sometimes when you complete the Pokedex like along the way. But it seems like now you complete it after the game. And I see how that's a little bit better, but it's just not the way I normally played. So even though that's the new thing, I still continue like normal. I caught Pokemon along the way. By the time I reached, um, I think it was my fourth gym, maybe fifth, I was already in my 60s. Like six, um, 60 level Blaziken, because I didn't accept uh, not getting Torchic in the beginning, because that was that's one of my favorite Pokemon, and I'm glad they may have evolved it. I know a bunch of people are probably glad from it. I've heard some bad feedback uh, along the line about Maze Boy, Mega Blaziken. Like, um, they could have did something new with his hair because it's kind of obvious what they did with it. Uh, I'll agree on that. It looks like basically they gave him a bunch of hair gel <laughs> and he wears it like that. But either way, uh, I'm happy for it. Um, you could easily tell what they're thinking. Um, Whenever Blaze can use one of his strongest fire attack moves, or a fire move in general, um, he would actually have fire shooting out of his wrist. So, uh, if you decide to make a storyline out of this, it would be, uh, Mega Blazekin is basically Blazekin when he can't control his fire. He's that strong now where his fire shoots out of his wrist. He can't control it, he can't keep it under wraps. So if you made a storyline about it, that would be the story. He can't control his fire anymore.
he's just too powerful. But um, I don't think that would be the story, but that's my concept of the thing. That's, that's what I think it would be. I would love to hear your guys' comments below of what you would think the story would be. Or don't comment. A lot of people, if you watch my video and you just don't feel it goes up to you and you don't want to comment, I'm completely fine with that. Uh, again, these videos aren't just for people who want to watch uh, Pixelmon or hear about Pokemon. These videos are for whoever enjoys them. As long as I know some people do enjoy my videos, um, that's what really could bring a smile on my face. Not that uh, people are just watching them because they're Minecraft videos or Pixelmon videos or talking about either. It's the kind of thing that I want to do. Just bring uh, a little bit of joy in people's lives. And I do know I'm doing that because I'm getting some um, positive feedback from some people saying thanks. Um, your videos helped me with some stuff. Like, uh, I got uh, feedback saying that I helped someone figure out how to make some Pokeballs. And I thought that was funny because you could look on the forums, but by watching how I made it, I guess it was easier to see than actually do it. But. Either way, uh, that was like a little good part. I was like, oh, okay. Send a message back saying, nice, man. I'm glad I could help. But uh, really, it was him who did it, not me. He was the one focusing on the video. He was the one um, watching it. So, yeah. Uh, those little things that actually made me a little happy. I helped um, somebody learn something about Pixmon that they just didn't want to look up or that they just rather watch a video about. And just knowing that he enjoyed the video or got some uh, good things from it. Like, I'm not one of those guys who thinks learning has to be the number one priority, but in life, learning is good and even if it's about video games like I'm glad he learned something about the game now I should probably eat and get out of this hole Bad on that. so um, basically what I'm thinking this series I don't want to give up on I am going to do it all the way I'm going all the way with this series. Um, hopefully I can get a video every week. I know I'm probably going to record a while, honestly. I'm not going to really record off camera because I don't think I really should. Uh, a lot of people in the past told me that it's not something that they like and I get that and I don't mind not doing it on camera if they don't want me to. I mean, I don't mind uh not doing it. yeah not doing it if they don't want me to do it i understand that completely i don't mind so um wow turtle is actually very strong nice i didn't know turtle was going to be that strong honestly i hear a scyther uh something i kind of wish they had in pixmon even though I know it's probably not going to go towards me, it would probably be uh, adding in uh, Scythers of all form. Wait, am I thinking about it? Right? Uh, oh yeah, Scizor. That's who I'm thinking of. Okay, I don't want to spend... Uh, the Let's Play Always Jumping Tree Tree. Uh, I will find a home eventually. But for right now, uh, we are just exploring. Basically. It's loading right now. Uh, the rest of the world, it's creating it. Okay. Let's see. Go 
go down this way. Looks like it might come to end over there. So, I actually might head back towards the desert right now. And I know a lot of people uh, who play Pixmon and might come across this are probably going to be happy for the 1.7 point... Uh, actually, I think it might be the 1.7 update. And uh, I was just about to say, are these weeping bells? Huh. Interesting. A Pokemon Center. Whoa. That's a crazy amount of lava. Excuse me, Poliwag. So, another thing, um, with the Bodel 40 video, I'm probably going to get some negative feedback for the whole racing thing. I guess. Whoa, okay, I'm just in Christmas style stuff. Oh, there we go, the lights turned on. I was about to say, it looks somewhat Christmassy, but at the same time, a little bit haunted, especially with the floating candles. Okay, so what I know so far is that these trading machines aren't going to be any use. So these aren't going to be used for me at all. Uh, but what I am going to need is probably a computer. And I honestly would like to take the uh, Smash stuff for right now. And I could probably use this some other time. But I'm mostly taking that stuff because right now it's going to cost a lot of stuff. And I have uh, diamonds and iron. So as soon as I find a home, I can make one or two healers. really depends how big of a house I'm going to want. But, whoa, that's a pincher. 31. Hmm. Let's try Dragon Breath. I know Pinchers are supposed to be one of the rarest Pokemon to find here. Especially uh, when the force is still up. Ah. Oh. Krabby. Let's see. Not really the best against a bug type, so. Let's try a Pokeball. See if that can catch it. Thing. So right now it's pretty late tonight. Oh yeah, I captured it. Oh my god, my luck succeeds me. I got a pincher now, but I did lose one of my Pokemon. Oop! I didn't want pincher out. I was going to use Turtwig. What is it? Oh god, withdraw. Yes. Oh, I learned to absorb, so now. Okay, so if you're in the jungle, best thing you could do is fight bell sprouts in the beginning. Honestly, I don't think I should be using these Pokemon that are really high level for right now. Let's see if this actually. Nope, still fainted. So I'm only going to use Turtwig and Krabby for right now. Because I don't think I should be using such high level Pokemon. A Magikarp. Oh god, oh, oh. A big one too. Oh my god. Uh, I I just have to catch this. I'm not going to cook it and make it into a zombie Magikarp. I just want a Magikarp to evolve into a um. What was it called? Gyarados. When it gets high enough leveled. Man, I'm getting like a complete girl squad right now. 
just realized that. I'm not even catching any boys, I think. Was there any of the other Pokemon boys? Man, my luck right now. If I run into like a Mew, be like, wow. Gotta keep my ears open for it. Nah, that's not a boss or anything. Honestly, I don't know how to tell a shiny Bananat away from a regular one yet. Uh, I know the sparkles would help, but when you just walk right past them, I have no idea. Another thing, um, if you guys ever want, you want to hear some noise right now? Um, yeah, that, that was probably be my brother. But if you guys ever want to add me on your Pokemon for trades or whatever, maybe that friend safari, um, you could always comment your uh, friend code or um, you could always just uh, send me it through a message if you don't want it being published uh, what it is. Um, another thing I would love to talk to you guys sometime if you ever have any messages I mean uh, you could ask me questions during videos anything that you guys might find it enjoyable. And I'm really having trouble finding my way out of the jungle. I got a feeling I should have said to uh, large biomes. That desert I spawned at actually, I think it was supposed to be the beach biome. It's like a shore basically, but the problem with that was since it's large biomes, it just looks like a desert. And worst part, I don't even know what you can eat in this jungle. I could probably make mushroom soup, but that's about it. That looks like a big Ekans. Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh man, this just looks like endless jungle. Maybe if I go more towards the side. Honestly, I think I should just built um a boat and went off to the side where the sea was. Because uh basically your biomes are just giant islands. If anyone doesn't know this, they're giant islands. And if you hear that barking in the back. I have my window open, and that would be all the dogs that live around me that randomly bark. And that would be a car. These are things you might hear when I record, um, just at times. Exavitor, whatever he is. That's actually a pretty strong Pokemon. So let's see. 